Hi Trader, Tina here once again from shortmetina.com with my daily recap. Happy Tuesday. All right, so before we get underway with a recap of the overall markets, I would like to welcome you. So if this is your first time tuning into a Short Me Tina video, I'd like to say welcome. Do us a solid in the comment section. Drop us a comment. Say hi. I generally say hi back. I do understand for those that are returning, so welcome back. I understand that I've been a little bit um, mute, quote unquote, uh, in terms of my YouTube comments, but that's only because, or my replies rather, uh, and that's because I have a lot going on sort of like on the back end. But sure enough, soon enough, I will get back to responding to every single one of those comments, all right? So continue to comment, continue to engage. I know I've been sort of quote unquote absent in terms of the comments, but I will resume shortly when things are situated uh, with all the work I have going on back here. All right. So anyway, so let's uh, recap the overall markets right now. What you're looking at is the S&P 500. It's a daily chart dating back to 2017. And I kind of like today's price action between, um, well, the, the indexes that we follow, like the SPY and the IWM for a few reasons, or at least one in particular, I'll let you know that in a few. So anyway, so the SPY were essentially flat to slightly down, closed at 298.13. I think that's perfectly fine, right? Perfectly fine. Uh, the good news is, right, we've managed to remain above that breakout level of 294.24 now for, let's count it, one, two, three, four trading days, right? So in um, many respects, so far, it is a sustained breakout. That is good, although I'm short. I've always maintained the money is made on the long side, so I'd be more than happy to get stopped out of my short position and have the markets rallied because that's where the money's, in my opinion, is made. Anyway, so really, really good, in my opinion, that we've... Uh, broken out of this shorter term sort of range that occurred uh, when we had uh, the bit of a seven or 8% sell off after we uh, got rate cuts, right? We had that sell off, it bounced around in August from let's say a low of the range is right here. I don't even need to guess, I have it right there. Uh, a low of 281.72 to a, to a high of 294.24. Four days ago, we actually broke through that range and I said it's all about sustainability, not necessarily whether or not we can do it, but can we sustain that break? And so far, so good. Four days, we've sustained that break. Again, we're slightly flat to down on the day. I think that that's fine. Why? I'll tell you right now. So it's fine because now it gives time for the IWM to play catch up. So, or ca catch up, right? Not like catch up, but like catch up. I hope you get it. Anyway, so a few days ago, I said, you know, it kind of was disconcerting that the SPY uh, was consolidated on the upper end of its range. And then most recently it broke out. Very concerning to me because the IWM was consolidating right here to the bottom end of its range. So I'm happy to see that while the SPY has maintained its breakout, it essentially did absolutely nothing today. Whereas the IWM, the last two days, you can see it here, in particular today, volume came in, buyers came in on above average volume, we're up 1.24% on the day. We closed at 153.80. We actually finally broke out of this range we've been consolidating in uh, since those rate cuts. So the SPY did it about four or five uh, trading days ago. We finally did it today. That's great. So if the SPY going forward can essentially remain um, flat slightly up while the IWM tries to break out of its two-year consolidation and that price point is 160. I think that bodes well uh, for folks that have, um, it bodes well for the bulls, let's just say that. So again, uh, we broke out today uh, up 1.24%, closed at 153.80. Now it's all about sustainability. So we don't want the markets actually giving back these gains tomorrow. Uh, so for the remainder of this week, third quarter, want to ensure that we actually trade above that 153 to 154 level. If we can do that, I'm pretty sure at some point we're going to retest 160 and that's no, you know, that's nothing new. We retested 160 for many, many times, right? So if you go back to, as you can see, we tested it here, 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 here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now if we do it again, it's gonna be the seventh time that we're trying to uh, surpass that 160. It's really good that we're making these attempts. The more attempts we make, the likelihood of it eventually breaking increases. So, so far, so good. Not, you know, it's not, um, we're not, I don't even know how to, how the expression would go, but we're not home yet, right? We're not necessarily where we want to be or where I would like for us to be, but we're making strides to actually get there. So sitting here at 153.80, 
perfectly great on our M. All right, so what else? All right, and then we see gold here. It's off about 0.9% on the day. I see a quote here of 140.12 makes sense because the small cap is actually rallying. Uh, so it makes sense that gold would actually contract. So if the markets continue to trend higher and rally, do not be surprised to see gold sort of retest its breakout base here of around, let's say, 130 to 133. Let's give it a range. Um, and so it looks like it wants to actually pull back to that breakout base. And again, more than likely it will happen if the overall markets continue to trend up. So if the rally that we saw in the IWM uh, occurs uh, once again tomorrow, the remainder of the week, expect for gold to contract more. And I can see it sort of um, hanging out around that 130 to 135 area. So if you're looking to go long, you might want to wait until it gets there. I don't know. It's up to you. All right. So that's what I see with gold. What else? All right, so let's uh, follow up a ticker NTRP. I did an analysis on this yesterday, and I said, well, I believe it was off something like north of 80%. And I said, well, any stock that's off 80% is technically uh, damaged, in my opinion, and you should stay away. However, I did say if you were looking to jump in to get a quote-unquote dead cat bounce, there was a possibility that this may actually offer up such a scenario. Uh, so if we go back to trading activity yesterday, you can see that the low of the day essentially was hit uh, within the first hour or so of trading with the stock going as low as 81 cents. Now, this is all yesterday. We sort of trended up, peaked at 103 to close around, I believe it was like 97 cents or something of the sorts. Where did we close yesterday? Uh, we closed at 99 cents. So close relatively uh, close to yesterday days high. I said uh, for the stock to potentially run, you want to pay attention to how the stock actually opens up um, today, right? We needed to have opened up above yesterday's close of around uh, 99 cents if this was to potentially run. Fast forward today, we actually opened up around 98 cents. So slightly below 99 cents, uh, going as high as I believe. Uh, did we even touch 100 today? Uh, I don't think so. I believe we got as high as around uh, 99 cents. It even quite cracked a dollar. And then it was essentially kind of downhill from there, closing off about 8% on the day to close at 92 cents. The low of the day clocked in at around 91. So again, we had uh, off north of 80% yesterday. On top of that, another 80% today. Again, dead money in my opinion, my opinion. Uh, but if you're still looking to uh, jump in, I wouldn't short this, but if you're looking to get in this on the long side, obviously, similar to yesterday, you want to pay attention to essentially where the stock opens up. Wow. Now, the fact that we actually close relatively close to today's low of 91 cents, pardon, close. All right, let's, <laughs> let's try to do that over. The fact that we closed. Close to today's low of around 91 cents, we closed at 92. Uh, for me, indicates that potentially the market wants to go lower. Obviously, you want to pay attention to see whether or not there's follow through with that tomorrow. So I'd be looking at how the stock opens up. If we open up above 92 cents and we can sustain that, that's a good sign. If we open up below 92, take out today's low of 91 cents, I can see this drifting a little bit lower now. Again, we're off 8% today. I think we were off something like 77% yesterday. So is there more room to go? Obviously, potentially there still can be more selling. But again, I can see it sort of trickling here. Eventually, you're going to get that 5 to 10% uh, dead cat bound. So again, for me, ticker NTRP, I would stay away. But that's just my take. What else? All right, so let's uh, wrap it up and round it out with ticker FARN daily chart. Uh, huge congrats to the bull stock is up about 138% uh, as we speak. I see a quote here of $12.32. Might be some uh, action going on in after hours. I did not get a chance to look at that. But again, huge congrats on the day. For the bulls, you can see stock is up hugely, quote unquote, hugely with confirming volume. Let's uh, zero in on the hourly chart to see what I see. Uh, so a bit of selling in the opening hour. Uh, but since then, uh, stock essentially traded sideways for most of the day, starting to sort of like ascend towards the ending of the day. So again, uh, I see a quote here of 1040. We just saw a quote of around $12. I'm assuming that's after hours, which is good. So is this stock Will it continue its run heading into tomorrow? So what you want to pay attention to, again, is after hours and pre-market. I'm assuming, just based on the quote that we just saw, that after hours is actually the stock continues to trend up, which is a good thing. 
Now you want that to carry over into pre-market tomorrow, and obviously you want to open up uh, above today's close of around, I'm, I'm gonna assume we close at 10,040. Actually, let me find out the exact metrics. Hold on for a second. All right, I'm back. So I was able to get um, some exact numbers. So we're up a little over 100% on the day. We actually closed correctly at $10.40. As I suspected, there is activities going on in after hours trading. We're up an additional 16%. The last quote I saw was $12.14. All that sort of bodes well if you're a bull, if you're holding on, or if you're looking to actually jump in. So definitely what you would want to want to see heading into tomorrow, and it already looks like it's happening, is you want the uh, stock obviously to open up above $10.40, which is the close. And right now, and after hours we're doing that, we're somewhere around $12. Uh, so if we open up above 12, uh, pardon, if we open up above 1040, take out today's high of 1069 and perhaps even revisit after hours and pre-market high, it looks like this stock might actually run. I would not be surprised to see it sitting at around 13 or $14, despite the already huge run it had today. But the key is it has to open up and sustain a move above 1040 and preferably today's high of 1069. So that's my take on ticker F-R-A-N. A little over the place, a little all over the place, but hopefully you got it. So we're gonna cut it and wrap it there. Tina here once again from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed any portion of the videos that I've done today, I did an analysis on five, a little less than usual, despite the IWM gold NTRP and ticker F-R-A-N. If you have any comments on those, make sure to comment in the comment section of the video. That's the first thing. Uh, secondly, I do videos Monday through Friday when the stock market is open, you can expect the video. So if you do not want to miss that, ensure that you are subscribed right now. We're trying to get to 2000 subscribers by the ending of the year. So far, so good. Uh, and lastly, lastly, my friend, I've been trading for well over one five, yes, that is 15 years. If you think you can learn anything from me, and I try to break down the market as simple as possible, right? Who has time for anything complicated? At least I don't, I have so much going on. I like things simple. So anyway, if you think you can learn anything from me, then definitely head on over to our website, shortmetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for the support. I'll talk to you tomorrow.